To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow and select new. And since we are using inches, I'm going to select ACAD 3D for imperial units and click open. Now I'm going to open my other drawing. I'm just going to click view tile vertically and open this one. I'm just going to adjust my screen. All right. Okay, so these are the section view. This one here, AA from here, and then B and C to C, which is this one. So I'm going to start drawing this section A. So bring your drawing to front view. So click custom view here, this one here, and select front view. There. Okay, and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow here and select parallel. So, section A, I'm just gonna draw the hatch portion. So, type L for line. I'm just gonna move somewhere here. So, click anywhere on the screen and move to your right for from this point to this point for 30 units. Uh, turn on the ortho mode. So go down to the status bar and turn on the ortho mode and enter 30. Okay, and another line from the midpoint here, down here, just here, this one here. For 24, so L, click the end point and enter 24. Now, the next one would be this line. So the distance from the midpoint to this point is 6 and downward for 18. So L for line again, right click to enter and just hover over on the side or in point and then move to your left. See that green dash line and then enter 6. So now our line starts from, okay again, L. downward for 18 another line so this line here from this point which is uh, 8 no which which is 18 so L for line enter and just hover over from the end point move your cursor to the left and enter 18 move your cursor downward for 15 units all right now I'm gonna use spline command you can either go inside the draw panel and select spline, this uh, symbol here, or you can type in SPL for spline, enter, click this in point, in point. I'm just going to turn off my ortho mode and change it to polar tracking, in point, and in point, and enter. Now I'm going to erase these two guides, so delete. And join the segment, so type J for join command. Right click and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. The next one would be this one here. So same process, line. Click anywhere here. Move to your left for 36 units. Repeat line, click the in point. Move your cursor downward for 28.5, which is this one here. So the next one is this line, which is 9 units from the input here, so L. Hover over, then click, move to your left, and then enter 9. Bring your cursor downward for 21 units, and enter. Again, L, hover over, move to your left for 24 units, and move your cursor downward from here to here is 16.5. Alright, so I'm going to use spline again, SPL for spline command. Click this in point, in point, in point, and in point, and enter. 
Now join the segments. Type J for join. Come on. We know the whole thing. So this is one object. And we don't need these two. So delete. Now the next one would be this one here. So L for line. I'm just I just want my drawing to be in line. But it won't matter. We don't you don't need to do that. So enter 8.1. Line again from in point downward for 7.2. L again. So hover over from the in point, then click and enter 2.4. And bring your cursor downward for. So from here to here is uh, 4.5. So this is the one here just gonna move this one it's just too far away from the, the dimension there you go okay another line from in point move to the left for six units bring your cursor downward so from here to here is six which is this one from here to here and from this point to this point is 2.4 and enter I'm going to use SPL for spline command. Click the in point, in point, in point, and this in point, and then enter. Now join the segment. So J for join command. Right click to enter. And just window the whole thing. Remove this one. Remove this. And delete. Now bring your drawing to southwest isometric or south southwest. This one here. Alright, I'm just going to turn off the grid and then I'm going to draw a line, three lines actually. So from, so this one is the A, so we got that from this uh, cross section of the boat. So this one is 72, the next line is 96 and the last one is 12. So we're going to draw a line from the first one from the AA section. So L for line, click that in point, move towards the direction along the Z axis vector, and enter 72. And then move this one. From in point to in point. And the next line is from here to here. It's 96. I'm going to draw another line. In point and along the x axis, enter 96, then move this one. Oops. Move in point to in point. Now I'm going to draw another line from this point to this point, which is 12. So L in point along the x axis, enter 12. All right. Now I'm going to use loft command. So inside the modeling panel, so go to home, inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow if it's not showing and just click uh, loft. Select the objects. And then for the last one, go down to the command prompt, click the point option or you can right click and select point and select this in point. And just enter there you go so I'm gonna mirror this one I'm just gonna bring this to top view type in I for mirror command select the object you want to mirror right click to enter select in point to in point shift right click and select in point and select no uh, before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and dynamic UCS. And then I'm going to press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse to turn this around. I'm just going to 
union the object so inside the solid editing panel select union command this one here and just window the whole thing now this is one object now i'm gonna copy this one because i'm gonna create i'm gonna use it to create the floor later so copy and just move it somewhere here all right now i'm gonna apply shell i'm gonna use this one here so i'm gonna apply shell so go to solid and inside the solid editing panel you can select shell and select the object that you want to shell and then select the face that you want to exclude because we want this uh, face open right click enter and select the shell offset distance for 1.5 And exit see now I'm gonna create a floor here so what I'm gonna do is uh, turn this around press the shift key again and the wheel of your mouse or you can bring this to uh, back view all right so what I'm gonna do is draw a line as a guide from this endpoint here and bring your cursor upward for 10 units and to your left anywhere here you can click anywhere it won't matter as long as it's straight and then inside solid editing panel here uh, select slice command select the object you want to slice right click and specify start point of slicing plane so click this uh, in point and move to your left click anywhere here and to keep both sides or you can choose um, a point of on the side side you can click here since uh no this one here since this is the side that we need i'm just gonna keep both sides so this one is separate and this one is separate so i just need this one so move uh from shift right click and select endpoint Yeah, this in point here see this one here i'm gonna show you and then click this in point shift right click and then in point now we have a floor now i'm just gonna delete this one we don't need this one here and then delete those And union the objects so inside so go to home and inside the solid editing panel select union command and just click the two objects now this is one object i think this is the per first part and uh, if you want me to do the rest of the boat i'm gonna make another video for that and then go to visualize and click this drop down arrow adjust exposure setting there you go make it whiter okay so i think we're done so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe at, and hit that bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial see you again